돈 없으면 집에 가. VFX Bro here with a tutorial in After Effects. We're going to be taking some stock footage and motion tracking it in order to add text into the shot. We're going to go ahead and go layer, new null object. We're going to change our window workspace into motion tracking. Then we're going to change our motion source to the footage we have here. Now we're going to take our motion tracker here and kind of resize it. We're going to find a nice point of contrast. You can see here the black really sticks out here, a nice black dot that we're going to be motion tracking. Let's go ahead and analyze forward by hitting that play button there on the right. We can see that it is tracking very nicely here. We're going to go ahead and change the motion target to null object 1 and then apply it to the X and Y axis. Let's go ahead and scrub through here. We can see that the footage has been successfully tracked. Our null object is sticking to the footage. We're going to add some text here by hitting the text button. We're going to type in Casper, kind of make it um, a larger font at first, just so that we can see what's going on. Change the color to white here real quick. All right, and now we are going to take the text layer and hit command shift C and make it a pre-comp here. So now that it's pre-composed we're going to do the same thing with another text layer here. Very important part here is the pre-composition. Um, scale it down a little bit and again the shortcut to pre-comp is command shift C. You can also go layer pre-compose but I always like to do it the fast way. Um, so now we have both of these text layers pre-composed. We're going to make them 3D layers, and we're going to go Layer, New, Camera. Um, now that we have this new camera selected, we are going to take our layers and move them in 3D space. Um, in the shot, we have one that's kind of further away from the camera and one that's nice and close to the camera. And by having this 3D perspective here and with a new camera, basically the parallax between the different layers will be seen as the camera moves within the scene. So the back title will be moving a little bit more than the front title as would happen in real life. So we're going to take both the Casper layers and add them to the null object. With the footage layer selected, hit Command C, Command V to duplicate it. And we're going to drag one on top of the title layers. We're going to go Window, Effects, and we're going to use the effect called luma key. We're going to drag that luma key onto our top footage layer and we're going to just bring up the th threshold so that it's king out the darker. We can see we have a nice dark background. We're going to key that out by bringing up the threshold. We With that top layer soloed out we can see that we're keying out the blacks very nicely here. Um, we're just going to mess around with the settings a little bit so that we have Casper keyed out fairly well so that we can put Casper in front of the text that we see behind him. Alright, that looks pretty nice right there. Let's go ahead and unsolo that clip here. And now we can see that our titles are have been placed behind that top footage layer. So let's go ahead and move the front Casper title in front of the the new clip and we have our back Casper title behind Casper. Um, so now let's go into our pre-composed title here and we're going to go layer adjustment layer. We're going to add in an adjustment layer onto our title here. Go back here we can see what we've got. And now we're going to go layer new adjustment layer on the second Casper title. Now we're going to go over to our effects and go to levels. We're going to add levels to our adjustment layer and bring the levels down so that we have darkened the title here. Pretty much make it almost completely black. And now we're going to mask it out. So go ahead and hit the G button and we're going to add a semicircle type of mask here kind of to match the lighting that we see in the scene. Now we've masked out the dark. We're going to go into our mask and make it a subtract 
Um, and now we're going to feather out the mask by hitting M with the adjustment layer selected, hit M twice. And now we're going to mask the feather and we're going to bring down the expansion a little bit here. Just make it a little bit darker. Very nice. Just kind of mess with the settings a little bit. And let's take a look at what we've got. We can see that the new title looks very nice there as if it were actually in the scene and responding to the lighting. Now let's go to our second title, the one we see in front. Not going to be as extreme here because we can see that it's a little bit more in the lighting than the other one. Um, and just kind of mess around with the settings a little bit there. Pretty much the same effect. Now what we're going to do is add a fast blur to the titles. So type in fast blur here in your effects panel and drag it on to your back title and bring up the fast blur to about three or so and then we're going to bring it back down to zero. You just kind of mess around to see. It depends a lot on, on your depth of field within the original shot. And we're going to add a fast blur also to the front title here. And we're just going to mess around with a little, a little bit, give it a nice soft blur here. Very nice. And what we're going to do is kind of change the perspective a little bit because you can see that where the camera is sitting, this title, if it were to be at the same level of at Casper, it kind of would be facing down a little bit. Um, so there we have that. What you can see is that the camera goes in and out of focus a little bit. So what we're going to do here is very important. We're going to change the blur as the camera goes in and out of focus. We're going to set a keyframe for the blurriness here. Scrub forward a little bit where we see the depth of field change in the actual shot and then bring down the blurriness. So the back title is getting going from blurry to not as blurry as the actual um, focus distance in the original shot changes. So then we're going to go scrub over here and then go back to a a little bit more of a blurriness on the back title. Very nice. And we're going to go ahead and do the same to the front title here. We're going to copy these keyframes here and then we're going to go to our front title and paste them on to the fast blur we have here. So we've just hit command C and command V to paste those keyframes in the same spot. Now this is going to be a little bit different because since it's in a different Z access space, the blur level will be different than of the back, pretty much the opposite. So as the camera, as the back title gets in focus, the front title gets out of focus. So we're going to pretty much just make it opposite of the back title. So now we can kind of render through here and we can see very nicely that as the camera goes in and out of focus, the titles match along with it. So the back title starts in focus and then moves out and the front title starts out of focus and moves in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and change the title here. We're going to go to window text and we're going to change the text to a font more appealing. You can obviously use whatever font that you'd like. And then for this particular shot, I chose to make it green. I just kind of liked the way that it complemented the grass in the shot. And um, same goes for the front title. And we're going to make it a little bit wider here by just messing with the text settings a little bit. And there we have it. Very nice. The finished composited shot with the text motion tracked to the original footage. Feel free to leave any comments below if you have any questions. This is VFX Bro with a tutorial in text motion tracking. <laughs>